It's just a little demonstration of the uh, Asian 7x10 lathe. These things are great. Have thousands of hours on this one. Today I'm just going to show you a piece of Delrin and why Delrin is such a great product to uh, to practice on. Uh, you can really uh, learn your trade on this and then as you get better you can go to aluminum, brass, and uh, steel and whatnot. But uh, let's do some uh, some turning on the lathe today. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, mount up this piece of stock here. Okay. And we're going to we're going to face it off. First thing we're going to do is put in a uh, just a regular carbide over the counter bit. Zoom in a little bit so maybe you can see a little better. And uh, we'll turn up the speed a little bit. Come in here, make sure everything's tight. Okay, and we'll do it again. This time we'll lock the carriage so we'll come back. That was just to rough it up. Okay, nice slow cut. Give you a pretty nice finish on this though. And again, this isn't a sharp bit, it's just a run-of-the-mill carbide tip bit that goes uh, you buy these real cheap at any industrial supply. Okay. Now we'll uh, we'll take a file. When filing on the uh, back it up so you can see. Important to know when filing on the, the mill, well the lathe rather, to take a, uh, put your hand rested on the headstock, press it down, rotate the file gently. You can see the shavings coming off. And so you get a nice finish. Okay, make sure you got a handle on your file too. Let's do some center drilling. Okay, this is a, uh, a spot drill. Unlike a regular center drill, you can see this is a uh, 90 degree spot drill. And uh, I like these, these work really good. It's in an end mill attachment. And this way I could just feed it right in. You can see it feeds real nice. Bring it up, take it out. Again, Delrin is a uh, dream to work with. I'm gonna change the uh, end mill bit to a, I'm gonna put in a, it out a little bit so you can see. I'm going to put in a regular drill chuck with a drill. This is a stubby drill. If you're working with these 7 by 10 lathes, you're better off getting a set of these stubby drills because you don't have a lot of room to work with. Okay, we're going to feed this in here and we're going to feed it in until we uh, so we'll feed it in for about a half an inch, back it out, feed it in. That breaks the chip, backing it out momentarily. Okay, pull this out, back, the, back it out. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's do some parting, everybody, uh, everybody loves a little parting. We'll take a uh, parting tool here. Now. Obviously, I have to change my position to get this parallel. Tighten this up a little bit, and that's about right. Feed this in. Let's paw it off and make a, make a little bit of a washer, if we will. And we'll just feed this in nice and easy. And pull here. And there we go. We have a little bit of a washer that we just made on the lathe. You never know, you might need one of these for the faucet or something. <laughs> Delrin works great, and uh, what can you do? You went to a hardware store, you need a washer, now you make it yourself. So these things, uh, believe me, this lathe is paid for itself a thousand times over. But, uh, Anyway, just a quick demo on the lathe, and if you're considering getting one and you don't have one, by all means pick one up, you'll enjoy it. 
Okay, take care. Have a nice day.